Hey everyone, welcome back to Scoop of the Crispy. Mike here bringing you some more Bravely a Second. We just met the Owl Sage. He um, taught me the craft. This craft thing. What's it called? The craft. Chomping craft. Chomp craft. Anyway, point is, I just spent an hour doing that and the game froze and I lost it all. I was doing so well. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Anyway, point is, we're going to continue on. Party chat. I just completed 100 percentile of the moon. So if you look here, everything is 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. I'm done upgrading. Oh, wait. Actually, speaking of which, if you come over, remember what I said to you. Every single day, come to the adventurer and say, Mr. Adventurer, oh, I have a friend bot. That's nice. I want to save my game. And you go to him and you say, update my data. And he's like, okay, I'm going to communicating over the internet. And then he's like, do not turn off system during communications. And then he keeps going on and saying, closing the net Nintendo 3DS system or opening it may destroy. Update complete, no friends. Sent five friend updates. So because I don't have any friends, what? Because, um, anyway, I'm going to go back to the moon. Now we're good. So I'm going to go back to the moon. See how the moon says update now? I don't want to save. Now the moon says update. We go to update. And boom. Five more people. Not really anything I can do with them. Everything is already maxed out. So I can't really do anything. But, you know, they're there just in case. I don't really know what I need it for. But anyway, point is 100%, which means party chat time. Let's go. Fort Loon Reborn. Well, Magnolia, how does it look? Why, yes. Yes, I believe that should do it. Are you sure? Let's look at the map one more time. Let me s let me see. Yes. Yes, there can be no doubt. Fort Loon is... <laughs> yes, today Fort Loon is... <laughs> wow. Today Fort Loon is reborn. Congratulations, Magnolia. There, there, Magnolia. There, here's a handkerchief. Uh-huh. Oh, who can blame you two? It's an emotional day. Here, here, tissues for the both of you. Double ply. Soft on the nose. Oh, you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guy. S guys, and it was our pleasure. And remember, it wasn't just us. All our new friends who came to this world pitched in, too. You're, you're right. You have my thanks, all of you. From the bottom of my heart. Boom, we did it. Another party chat. Let's go. Chomp, chomp away. Oh, that's right. We already talked about this, right? The mouth goes here. The arms go there. It could be that. Yeah. Cool. We did it. Yes. Let's head out to the north. Let's see. The game should save automatically. Look for blue map markers. Have you noticed the blue markers popping up on the lower screen map? These point the way to side story destinations. Tell me more. Bravely Second Side Stories will shine light on the motivations and personalities of the Asterisk holders in the former Eternian army. Oh, and you can fight them to claim new jobs, too. Edia takes a stand. Each side story features two Asterisk holders pitted in an ideology, ideology dispute. Ideological dispute. As the Grand Marshal's daughter, Edia will be called upon to make tough decisions and persuade her countrymen to see the light. Oh, that's cool. So, um, is that, is that what we're doing? I guess that's what we're doing. So, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go check this out. Can we zoom in on the map? Is there a way to zoom in? I can't even see the map. Good crap, I have to go all the way up there? Is this where we're going? Right here. There it is. This is where the demo took place, BTW. Need water. Desert dweller. Bah, they just keep coming. Go on, after her. Sir. What's he up to? Hmm. The, the jackal. jackal. Scourge of the desert. 
and holder of the thief asterisk. Ooh. He and his band of rogues once took orders from Eternia, but went into hiding after falling to Idia and her friends. Idia. His abrasive attitude can frighten those who do not know him. But there is something more to this diamond in the rock. The diamond. By in what the strange rock. trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Hmm. Not that way, you old bat! Hey, that's enough! Jackal. What do you think you're doing? I said watch out Jackal. for the quicksand! Hey, you got something to say, you sh shrew? Ah, uh, busted. Wait! I know you, from before. Look, if you can't tell, I'm freaking busy here. Don't just stand there looking stupid. Lend a hand already. A hand? Uh, okay. It's finally quieting down. Ugh, about time. I need a break. This is way harder than thieving. You know, I thought you were at it again. Bullying innocent folk in the desert, I mean. But you're actually helping them. And making sure they reach the oasis safely. Aw, you there guys. There's so many people looking for water. I suppose that means the situation hasn't improved, huh? It was better for a while. Water was cheap. And the little people didn't have to grovel or steal just to quench their thirst. But now... The underground river channels are running dry. We lost three oases to the sands just since the beginning of the year. Oases? Could it be something happened to the gem? The gem? Yeah, the wellspring gem. If you're from the desert, you know about it. Ask anyone, even the kids. They'll tell you it's the source of all the water out here. Of course, it's probably just a fairy tale, right? Hey, stop shoving and wait your turn! Sorry, sir. Won't happen again. Wow, you're really in charge here. <laughs> yeah, well, just call me head of desert security. A no good ruffian like myself. <laughs> Moving up in the world, huh? Someone rounded up all the street urchins and gave me and my crew some honest work to do. That's good. Hey! How many times will I have to tell you, stay out of the quicksand, you stupid brat? Sorry, boss. Alavas, what a lovely story. The Wellspring Gem. I remember learning about it in one of my folklore classes. I bet there'll be tomes and other records about it back in El Campus. I'll look into ah. it the next time we're there. Oh, for cripe's sake, stop bawling and pull yourself together! He's just a child. So there we have it. The oases are drying up, water is running low, and the reason may lie with this wellspring gem. Well, let's check it out. Party chat. The Prime Minister's plan. The Jackal is head of desert security. That's a pretty bold move. A bold move? Yeah, by the Prime Minister, appointing a bandit to police the desert? That's like asking a fox to watch the chicken coop. Maybe, but I can see the logic. Who knows, the other bandits and how they work better... Who knows the other bandits and how they work better than the Jackal? Soon as they try to make a move, he'll know about it. Set a thief to catch, set a thief to catch a thief, and that, and all that. Though it is risky, of course. Right, putting a man like that in charge of people's belongings? Lives, even? Oh, uh, wait, the kids? What about them? Nah, maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't think the Prime Minister would be that devious. You think he's holding the orphans hostage in town to keep the jackal in line? I can't say for sure, but it's definitely not out of the question. I don't know. The Prime Minister seemed like such an easygoing guy. When you're responsible for an entire nation, you can't afford to play nice all the time. Yes, I know. But still, it seems so drastic. I am the Guardian of the Sands, and I am the Princess Arena of the Moon Desert. You shall never take my land from me. Good grief, are those two playing pretend? Listen, let's keep this little chat to ourselves, okay? We don't want to reopen old wounds. Got it. 
Say farewell, wicked princess of the moon desert. Aye. Okay, that was weird. Oh no, random battle. I think we're good. Let's do it, yeah, there you go. Destroy. Oh crap. Oh. 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 Idea. Oh. oh. Crap. Get faster. Oh, you're hurting all my people. That actually worked pretty well. Let's just do it. Everybody hack the crap out of him. Come on, go faster. Come on, you get him. Get him. Oh, dang you. Oh, I'm gonna punch your face in. I like everybody's dying. Seriously? Man. I think you know someone. That was only 39 experience? Gosh. Let me go use some magic. Heal everybody. We're gonna go back to our compass. It's nighttime in the river. It is nighttime in the river. Oh wait here. If I stay at the inn, it'll go daytime again, right? I think that's how it works. I wanna stay at the inn for 200 page 20. Library, but first we're gonna talk to this guy. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? I didn't expect to find you here. Is nowhere safe from your menace? Hmm. Now, now. <laughs> yes. Fiore de Rosa, <laughs> incorrigible lady killer, and holder of the Red Mage Asterisk. Former leader of the Blood Rose Legion, mm -hmm. his crimes against woman, nation, and good taste were laid bare by Idia and her friends. Known as Old Dread, this lascivious lech sees his romantic conquests as little more than objects to be manipulated for his own gain. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Hey, hey, you show some respect, you hear? That's Mr. DeRosa. Huh? Mr. DeRosa? Let us find somewhere to dine, shall we? And please, don't look so scary. I won't run. Hmm. It's the truth, I assure you. I was borrowing the Academy's libraries and archives, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the faculty. As an adjunct professor, you're not even an alumnus. Well, it's not as if I'm some ignorant buffoon. I've already assisted a number of my colleagues. <sighs> mm, I don't believe a word of it. <sighs> One more out, camp and noodles! Make it a large! Uh, oh, idiot! You're getting soup everywhere! In any case, they were most impressed by my new thesis on somnial energy. Mmm, c'est bon. So creamy and rich. Cook, seconds for me too. If that's all right. But of course, food is cheap here in the students' quarter. Dine to your heart's content. Really, I thought it would have been more expensive. Go easy on the red pepper. So, uh, what's somnial energy? Why, none other than the ultimate energy source. We've been trying to crack its secrets for quite some time. It doesn't pollute the air like fossil fuels, and unlike crystals, there's no danger of it running out of control. In theory, at least. Uh, once refined, it emits a fixed quantity of energy. Hmm. It's easy to control, and mass production is a cinch. Again, in theory. 
During refining, the energy is highly unstable. The slightest error could trigger a reaction powerful enough to destroy an entire city. No explanation of somnial energy is complete without mentioning that particular point. Uh, in, in theory. Oh. So, assuming you can generate this somnial energy, what's your scheme this time? You know, of course, that nearly every war is fought over food or natural resources. But what if we could harness somnial energy? What would happen then? Imagine an everlasting source of energy, more powerful and stable than the crystals. If such a thing came to reality, why, there would be no more need for war. Mankind would know a new age of peace, one of harmony and stability undreamt of by any Templar or religious order. That sounds just peachy, but what exactly do you get out of all this? The pursuit of knowledge. My curiosity has been aroused. For over a year, I have immersed myself in my studies. The experience has changed me. I am a more thoughtful man than I once was. Um, this is skirt-chasing old Red I'm talking to, right? Do you have a fever or something? Ha. Huh. By the way, what were you two talking about earlier? It seemed awfully serious. Harnessing somnial energy isn't easy. The biggest challenge is the refining process. We need fresh water and lots of it to keep everything stable. This is a desert nation, though, and water it is scarce. Go to the ocean. No doubt other realms are more fortunate. But here in Alcampus, lately I've started oh, he said to fresh lose water. heart. Mr. DeRosa was trying to lift my spirits. Oh, look at the time. I'll be late for the lecture on Harina folklore. Care to join me? Sure. Why not? Ah, uh, allow me. It's my treat. I don't think so. We'll pay our own way, thank you very much. You've got it covered, right you? Huh? W why me? Anyway, long story short, to develop this wonder energy, they need water. And lots of it. All right, that is going to do it, everyone. Uh, we're going to go figure out water and lots of it next time. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to keep up with all my newest videos. Leave your comments below and follow me on Twitter, at ScoopOfCrispy. I'll see you next time, continuing on with Bravely a Second.